Welcome to Car Design Academy, where we help aspiring designers master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training, and personal mentoring. Today, we're gonna to continue our discussion about rendering a vehicle and how to express a shape and form through light and shadow using the pencil. So uh, this time we're gonna be doing a three quarter view of a sports car. Uh, before we did a simple side view, uh, but when we get into a three quarter view, it gets a bit more complex because now we've got to express how the side of the vehicle transitions into the front and the top of the vehicle. So uh, we're gonna do a similar uh, sports car, this front engine GT, very Italian-esque, uh, which, which has a lot of shape and form to it. So we can really begin to understand how light and shadow plays on, on the vehicle. So. Uh, I'm going to start with um, a set of wheels and tires. You can see I'm I'm kind of skipping the whole process of drawing the, the the cube in space because that's that's something that once once you're proficient enough in drawing cars in perspective, you're going to know how to express a vehicle in perspective without having to draw all of the you know the vanishing points and the boxes and all of that lightly blocking in the main forms of the vehicle. So you can see I'm, I'm sketching this very, very shapely Italian-esque sports car with these wide haunch fenders, um, lots of sculpture, lots of, lots of drama in the surfaces. And then I'm also gonna draw as a, as a reference the cylinder. I'm just gonna loosely draw a cylinder and I'm gonna express the light source coming in from the, uh, from the the right side. And so just like we talked about in the cylinder, it's going to, it's going to uh, transition from, from light to dark and then back to a sky tone. And there's going to be a bit of a, a horizon there. And then we also have a, a face of that cylinder, which is 
in shadow because it's facing away from the light source. So we're going to start to express that in the vehicle. And how we transition from the side of the vehicle to the front and the top is going to be very, very important and critical. We get those, those light and shadow elements correct. One of the most prominent features on this vehicle is going to be this it's very deeply sculpted air extractor, which is going to be in shadow reflecting the ground tone. And we're also going to have an actual opening, which will be entirely in shadow. We're going to have a part of the body side which reflects back out towards the, the sky and then back to, sh to uh, showing the ground, to reflecting the ground. If you think of the vehicle as a mirror of the world around it, it's going to be reflecting the sky, the horizon, and the ground. And so where you position those, those tones um, will really give the viewer a clue as to what the forms are doing. So in this case, we're trying to do this really deeply sculpted uh, air extractor, which which tunnels into an intake on the body side. And then the front fender is just going to be a nice, simple, smooth barrel, barrel form. So as you can see how, how I express that, this barrel form of the fender relative to, the, to this deeply sculpted air extractor, um, you immediately understand what the form is doing. Now I'm going to continue that, that tone around to the front. So this, this ground tone is going to carry all the way around the vehicle. So if you think about, uh, if we think about the sphere, right? If we think about the sphere and reflecting the ground tone, kind of going all the way around the sphere, right? That's kind of how we're expressing the front of the vehicle. But I want to have a bit of a hard, a hard edge running around the front. So I'm going to have this dark, dark knife edge, which, which tapers out on the front corner. So it's going to transition again from the soft barrel fender to this really, really hard uh, brow line going around the front. And then we're going to start to transition into a sky tone. So as, as the front fenders roll over to skyward facing, they're going to start to transition into a soft gradation of sky tone. So we're going to have kind of a deep pool of, of sky tone up here. The front fender then turns away from the, from the viewer and begins to reflect the horizon again. So it actually gets slightly lighter. And so we're going to have the, the hood or the bonnet start to pick up some of that sky tone as well. And this is where it gets a little tricky because we're using the side of the pencil to do this really soft, gradual gradation. So we just have to build it up slowly. And as, as the bonnet or as the hood comes down closer to the horizon line, it's going to get lighter again because it's going to be reflecting more of that, that white atmosphere around the, the base of the horizon. So you can start to see that that, that far side of the fender start to... to, to um, reflect the, the outer horizon. And then on the far fender, 
it's going to be turning back towards the sky tone. So we're actually going to put another pool of tone here. So now you're really starting to read this, this cross section of the fender reflecting the sky tone. So we're actually using the sky tone to render the form of the hood. And then the rear fender is going to do the same thing. It's going to be reflecting that, that um, sky tone. And we're, we're actually going to take some of that sky tone into the, into the cabin. Since, since we're rendering the glass, we're going to be rendering it a little bit differently. It's going to be more purely reflective. So it's going to transition towards a fairly dark sky tone, a little bit darker than the hood. And then we're going to have this hard reflection, which is going to be a little bit of the horizon on the opposite side of the vehicle, or it could be an object um, near the vehicle, like a building that is just giving us this little hint of the opposite side of the vehicle. We might also have a little bit of the horizon showing on the glass on this side as well. It just gives it gives the glass a little bit more of a glossy ref, mirror like reflectivity. And we can start to darken some of our our key lines and graphics. So if we, we really darken this, this air extractor, then we can start to tunnel in that surface by adding some additional gradation. And you just keep building it up slowly. start to add our front details. So what I'm doing here is, since this is an Italian vehicle, I'm giving it this kind of upside down alpha, alpha V shape, alpha Romeo. And then I'm just sketching in the, the actual uh, intake area. So this is going to be a darkened black area. What's great about Prismacolor is you can really, you can really darken uh, an area and, and make it super, super rich and, and dark, but you can also add a lot of subtlety and, and gradation. So this is going to go back to reflecting sky tone, but it's also going to be tunneling into uh, to that shadow area. 
So you can really start to see the surface, the front surface is tunneling in. And just keep building up the tones. Darkening our wheels. I also tend to let the, the sketch get slightly faded um, as, as you get further away from the, from the focal point. It helps to add visual depth. So, so you have the greatest amount of contrast in the focal area and then everything kind of fades out and, and lightens up as you get towards the, the farther extremities. Adding some dark tones where the where the tires are. This helps plant the vehicle. And maybe maybe some some lighting. Just some just some hint of a of a of a lighting graphic. Parting lines can also really help to define a surface. So, so doors, for example, can really help to define the form. So you're really starting to be able to see the, the, the form of the vehicle as it transitions from ground to, to horizon to sky. And how I'm using different areas of, of light and shadow to, to define the form. So you can really understand what the shape of the vehicle is doing. And also how you express those transitions from the side of the vehicle to the top of the vehicle to the front of the vehicle. If you're looking to take your car design career to the next level, you need a mentor who can show you the way. Go to www.cardesign.academy and book a free discovery call. We can help you map out a strategy to master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training, and personal mentoring. Whether you're just starting out on the journey or you're looking to level up, subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on Instagram at cardesign.academy.